Imagine being so sure you found the cure for a deadly disease, but no one believes you. This is a true story of a brave doctor that took one for the team. And what he did next was insane, it was reckless, but it saved millions of lives. So for years, Dr. Barry Marshall watched in frustration as ulcer patients suffered horribly. Some had their stomachs removed, others bled to death, and at the time, ulcers were a widespread problem, affecting 10% of adults, and the medical community believed they were caused by stress. But Marshall knew there had to be more to the story. In 1981, he teamed up with Robin Warren, a pathologist at Royal Perth Hospital. Warren had discovered a strange corkscrew-shaped bacterium called Helibacter pylori, living in the gut of ulcer patients, and together they made a shocking connection. These bacteria weren't just present, they were the cause of ulcers and even linked to stomach cancer. And for Barry, he knew the cure was simple, and that was antibiotics. But the medical world wasn't buying it. They dismissed Marshall and Warren's findings, clinging to the outdated belief that stress and lifestyle were the root cause of the ulcers. Desperate to prove the truth, Marshall did something that would make him legendary. Unable to test on humans, and limited by the fact this bacteria only affected primates, he became his own guinea pig. He took a sample of the bacteria from a sick patient, mixed it into a broth, and then just straight up drank it. Within days, he was violently ill. He developed gastritis, which is the first step towards an ulcer. His breath stank, he was exhausted, and he started vomiting. He then biopsied his own gut, cultured the bacteria, and provided undeniable proof this bacteria was the true cause of ulcers. And at this point, the medical community finally had to listen. In 2005, Marshall and Warren were awarded the Nobel Prize for their groundbreaking work. He was then nicknamed the guinea pig doctor. Thanks to their discovery, ulcers are now easily treated with antibiotics and stomach cancer rates have plummeted. And Dr. Marshall's story doesn't actually end there. To this day, he's currently a professor at the University of Western Australia. And as a clinical professor of microbiology, he's working on innovative flu vaccines delivered through weakened helicobacter bacteria. Once dismissed as a reckless outsider, the man they called the guinea pig doctor single-handedly changed the face of medicine, and he's still pushing boundaries to this day. And I think this story has a lot of subliminal messages to it. It's a powerful reminder that sometimes pushing boundaries and standing firm in the face of doubt is the only way to make a real difference. When everyone told him he was wrong, he proved them right. Not with words, but with action. And because of that, millions of lives were saved. So the next time someone doubts your vision, remember this, the greatest breakthroughs often start with a single person refusing to give up.